All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are trying out one of the most hyped golf brands of all time. At the beginning of this year, they sponsored a ton of golf YouTubers and they all had glowing reviews. So I'm super excited to see if they are worth the hype. And speaking of hype, Ashley has been absolutely killing the ball Ever lately. Since we've gotten back to Indiana, I've been practicing like crazy because my game has been all over the place. I'm not ready for like a full course vlog, but hopefully you see a few good shots from me. We're definitely going to see a, a few good shots to uh, say the least. She has been killing it. And speaking of killing it, you guys have been killing it for us. We're getting super close to 225,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. We're we'll going to be giving away a Scotty Cameron Newport, right or left-handed, so stay tuned for that. But first things first, we're at Walmart. And we are at Walmart, not for the golf clothes, but for these right here. Last year, we went to the golf course we're going to today, and I shot one of my best rounds ever with these Vice Pro drips. We find the Vice golf balls all over the place, and I'm pretty sure these are exactly the same as the other Vice Pros, but these are uh, these a ones little- These are festive. Yeah, very festive. Go perfectly with your uh, USA national team. Perfectly in time for the uh, Women's World yeah, Cup. But I'm just always ready to go. Yeah, you've got a, a million jerseys, but hopefully these golf balls are just as good as I remember. Hopefully they're a million times better. A million times better. Maybe yeah. the golf clubs are even a million times better than the hype yeah I don't know we'll go unbox them and find we'll, out we'll find out all right golf ball security might as well unbox the clubs here in case we need a knife and need to uh, return it also we've already gotten a million weird stairs more yeah. than uh, usual but uh, let's uh, unbox these things right here Come on. The golf clubs that we are talking about are the Tacomos and these are the 101 T irons I am super excited to uh, try these out Whoop. The first thing that I noticed though is that they're uh, from Finland, but as you can see on the box, it says made in uh, China. So that's probably how they keep their uh, cost down. And they are keeping the cost down way cheaper than basically anything else on the uh, market uh -huh. right now from the uh, main brands. There's a couple other direct to consumers that are super cheap. Oh man, these are kind of cool. You got a, a Tacoma Sweet. hat in there and a, a Tacoma towel. And the irons are looking pretty good. We're gonna head out to the course and see if they perform just as good as they look. The 101T Tacoma irons. See the uh, little unwrapping right here? My parents never gave me presents, so I don't know how to unwrap no, things. That's not true. <laughs> These things are looking pretty sweet. Pitching wedge right there. The 101 T irons. A little unwrapping, most satisfying part. We'll do this every single time that we uh, hit a shot so we can keep track of all the ones that we hit. There you go. <sighs> satisfying. Hopefully, they're as satisfying to a hit as that was. Let me jump the course. All right, folks, made it out to the golf course. I think we're going to do a little irons only challenge. If we can shoot even par or better, we'll get ourselves a treat. And speaking of treat, those things are looking pretty dang good in the bag. The first hole here is about 300 yards directly over that hill, kind of in line with the left-hand side of the house. And that tree, Ashley's tee box is over there. I'm super excited. Ashley, we're probably going to see lots of uh, your shots. You've been, yeah, you've been playing a crazy day, but I think we're going to get things started off here with the four iron. way off the toe but it still went dead straight well we are definitely testing the forgiveness off right off the bat hit that way off the toe still went pretty dang straight but ashley's a uh, secret weapon right here the uh, nine wood let's see if we can uh, bust one you'll probably hit it further than i did <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely uh, better than my first shot. Well, I don't know what it is about that nine wood, but as soon as I got it, I've been playing really well, so I'm not gonna question it. But speaking of questionable, it's Sean's shot. So we'll see what he can do from here. All right, got about 120 yards. Gonna go with a uh, flighted pitching wedge. Oh, it's right at it. Oh! <laughs> I think that's like 10 feet. Can't really tell with the uh, depth perception of the uh, hill. But... Yeah. Well, first shot was terrible, second shot was pretty dang good. All right, well that was way closer than I uh, even thought it was from back there. Let's see if we can knock that one in for birdie. Nice. All right, we've birdied probably the easiest and least interesting hole so far. We uh, are getting things... Uh, we have quite an adventure <laughs> yeah, ahead. we are heating up really uh, quickly here. You go right up the uh, hill and then the next hole is like even 100 feet further up that hill. So mm -hmm. the cart barely makes it with me on it. So. Hopefully we can make it with these irons. All right, we are going with the seven iron. There's a creek right before that hill, so we want to stay short of that and leave ourselves a uh, good yardage. Stay short. Man, these things are long. Stay short. All right, we're good. All right, got about 100 yards left going straight uphill, probably playing at least a uh, club longer, going with the uh, pitching wedge. Sit. Oh my goodness. That was crazy long. That is ridiculously long. 
Well, not sure if that was me or the club, but I just hit a half a pitching wedge, about 150 yards, dead uphill. And this is going to be, this is an impossible, this is an impossible shot. Wish me luck. That'll do. Yeah. Well, not the putt that we want for a par, but luckily I've had it a few dozen times. Breaking to the right. Oh. All right, even par three two. Next hole is pretty, pretty entertaining to uh, say the least. All right, well, we successfully made it up that hill. We started all the way down there. The green was elevated. Then that's about another 100, probably 150 uh, feet in. We still have to go straight up there. The hole is right around there. This is like a uh, a nine iron, nine iron hole. Pretty intense. Pretty intense to uh, say the least, but uh, wish me luck. This is kind of like a hit and hope. I think we're good. Also, I've been playing every single uh, shot with the plastic <laughs> in my uh, pocket, so it's, uh, I'm sure it sounds pretty funny. All right, luckily we ended up with a pretty good yardage right here, about 135 yards. I think we might be able to skirt it just a little bit to the uh, left of the uh, trees and then it should kick to the right, theoretically. Oh, super long. I gotta get used to the uh, yardages of these things because that is, this is the longest pitchy wedge I've ever hit my entire life. All right, first things that I'm noticing with the clubs, these are ridiculously long. It might be a little bit too long because this is the longest pitching wedge that I have ever played. So it goes as far as my uh, eight iron. So I think I'm gonna need to go, if I hit my pitching wedge like 160 yards, I'm gonna need like five or six yeah. uh, wedges. But luckily we uh, stayed up here and didn't go all the way down the hill. Hopefully I can bump it, run up there. Bump it and run it, not just bump a run. But uh, <laughs> so not, I'm not leaving myself with the easiest of shots no. so far. Please it. All right, well, I think we might be down the other side of that hill. Oh. Well, I am getting used to uh, chipping with this uh, thing, but hopefully we can get uh, a little bit more dialed in with the uh, yardages. Well, all right, next hole is almost as bizarre as this one. Stay tuned. All right, 390 yard par four, but like most of these holes, you gotta kind of maneuver it around the uh, trees right there. It is uphill, you gotta go kind of to the left of those two tall trees and then it just like drops way off a uh, cliff over there. So, like I said in every single hole, this is a lot of uh, luck involved in this course. Yeah, also, <laughs> yeah, also we've been playing from the white tees because there's no room to uh, set up behind the uh, blue tees. Also, it's easier to uh, hit irons from there. Also, we're playing Pine Woods. I don't even know if we said that. No, we said it. Pine Woods in uh, Spencer, Indiana, one of my favorite courses in the world. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think it's like $10 that you play before 10 a.m. It's pretty sweet. With a cart, which you need because it's impossible to uh, hike up the there. The cart is like it's a, like an amusement ride. Yeah. So much fun. So much fun. There you go. There's a cart. <laughs> amusement. Are you amused yet? might be a pretty sweet ball flight too because you can see with the trees. Oh, I don't know. I'm very short and down the hill, so <laughs> didn't see anything. Not promising anything. <laughs> well, that could not have ended up in a better spot, but the only problem is I have to hit another uh, little field shot with the pitching wedge, which has not been uh, my favorite uh, so far. I have gotten used to chipping with it, but hopefully I won't have to chip with it uh, this time. I think we're on the grid. I don't think we have to chip another one. All right, uphill breaking a little bit to the left, if I remember correctly. Yep, hopefully. A little bit more than I remember. <laughs> Sweet. All right, next hole. It's pretty interesting as well. This course is very interesting if you haven't caught up by it. I don't know if it, how well it shows up on camera, but you have to play like around trees, through trees, over trees, under trees. <laughs> And we've done all of that so far, but uh, also the hole after this one is like a 300 foot oh, it's drop my favorite. off. Yeah, it's like a 500 yard uh, par five that we might be able to uh, reach with two irons. Stay tuned. All right, next hole, 155 yards. And based on what we've been doing so far, this is like a uh, one quarter pitching wedge. So 
there is a gigantic drop off to the right. If you watched the last time that we played here, I was down there. You couldn't like it took me a half hour to get up from this uh, hill. Yeah, just up it. Yeah. Well, hopefully we don't have to do that today. No. Oh, that is right at it. That is right at it. Oh, the full shots, like the more full shots that I have with the pitching wedge, I like them, but I don't know. It's, I can't complain about that. I'm not going to complain about no, that. No, that was a good shot. All right, we got about probably about six and a half feet left here. See if we can get back to uh, even par. That was a very good shot. I, on the other hand, have not been playing well, so that's why you haven't seen any of my shots, but hopefully the next one. The next hole I'm is, excited about that yeah, one. it's amazing. If you just get the ball moving forward, you've been hitting a few good shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we're trying to move fast. There's a couple of people behind us. Yeah. So. All right, let's see if we can uh, knock this one in right here. Sweet. Get back to uh, even par. Whoa, nice. Whoa, nice. Nice. All right, back to even par and uh, cut to Ashley. Well, I got a hit, and then cut to Ashley just absolutely obliterating. Wish her me luck. Yeah. All right, going four iron stinger. Hopefully the shot tracer looks cool, if nothing else. That just looks so cool because it's where you're from Florida, so it just stays in the air forever. That is, could not have placed it down there uh, any better. Hopefully we don't have another pitching wedge left in, although I have hit it pretty good. Yeah, but you're getting so, used to it. Getting used to it, to say the least, but now we can get used to actually smashing it down this hill. Oh, that is crushed. Nailed it. Hopefully I kept it uh, pretty good in frame. <laughs> Ashley's the uh, expert cameraman. Also, 5,000 likes for Ashley having to put up with uh, being my cameraman. Oh, no, it's kind of fun actually to follow you around. All right, well, hopefully you I will follow you fun. around to making a birdie here. Hopefully you follow him around everywhere because we're married, so. Well, yeah, I thought, yeah, <laughs> there you go. I got what you're I'm picking up, which I'm scooping what you're pooping. Hopefully we can go uh, scoop ourselves up a uh, birdie here. All right, you guessed it. Got 150 yards and going with a pitching wedge once again. Although next hole, I can promise you that I probably will not have a uh, pitching wedge because there's a huge creek that I have to uh, lay up in front of. We should have like at least like a seven iron uh, left in and then the uh, ninth hole will be hitting different clubs too. So for now, you still have to uh, put up with another pitching wedge. There's nothing to zoom in on. I can't even no, see where it's No, that's going. why I was like, that tree's blocking it. The it flag's dead behind there. So it's either in the hole, short or long. <laughs> Great commentary. Yep. <laughs> Proof, I actually hit the green. You can see it right there. It's about 20 feet short. So of the options of long, short, or in the hole, it was short. Hey, at least you're on the green. There you go. Nailed it. All right, eagle putt, but it is breaking both ways and a little bit uphill. Well, you can't really complain when you have an eagle putt. Go, 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 go! It only broke one of the ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tap in birdie. Then the next hole is, uh, like I said, about pretty much every hole. Very interesting. Yay! All right, 410 yard par four. I think we're gonna try and go like six iron, maybe seven iron. There's a huge creek that uh, crosses right in the middle of it, and I can't carry it with a four iron. And then, yeah. You get you get the point. I just math. yeah, I just described math to you. I'm not very good at math, so I'm probably not very good at describing it. But uh, let's see if we can't put it in the uh, correct position. Oh, I forgot we could take another uh, plastic uh, wrap off there. Nice. Six iron, first time coming out. These things are so long. Got about 160 yards left. We are dead downwind, so I think it's going to be a nine iron. And this is gonna be, if I get it there, this is gonna be the longest nine iron that I ever yes. hit uphill. That thing, I think usually we're on the other side and I have mm -hmm. like a, a gap wedge left in. So a nine iron from all the way back here would be pretty impressive if you ask me. I think I'm gonna take that back. I think we're actually gonna call this one pin high. So a uh, nine iron from however far that we had, right there, that's pin high. That's pin high. You call it? With pin high. We're going with pin high. I am becoming somewhat of a magician with this uh, little pitchy wedge uh, right here. <laughs> that was kind of a hard shot. The greed is elevated. All right, got that uh, putt for, what is that for? That's for par. Nice. Oh no, I was getting oh. a little overexcited. <laughs> that's to stay under par though. Okay, cool. Oh. Well, you get me 
yeah, not hitting the pitching wedge, and that's what happens. I make a bogey. All right, about 100 yards on this par three. Also, the last time we played here, which was with our niece, which was the first time we went on the uh, golf course with her. That yeah. was tons of fun. Ashley almost got a, a hole in one right here, hopefully. With my wedge, Yeah, too. with your wedge, You too. thought I hit like a seven iron. I was very impressed. Hopefully, we can hit a couple of impressive shots. Hopefully, right impress me. Oh, it's very hard to impress you. <laughs> You've got low standards, though, if you uh, married me. But uh, let's see if we can get one uh, close here. And uh, you guessed it, pitchy wedge. But this is a very feel shot. So yes. this is going to it's going to attest the, uh, my one ability another, and the uh, club. Feel it. Damn. Beautiful and got dad jokes. Going to yield four in my backswing, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> oh! This is the longest pitchy wedge. I cannot... I'm confused. Oh, under the wind. That might actually, if you get a hold one on that, I quick golf. Uh, oh my goodness. That's definitely what I, I didn't do that last time, but it, it kind of worked. It kind of worked. There's no pictures on the scorecard. All right, trusty pitching wedge. Here we go. on my putter on this hole. <laughs> Next hole is not the easiest to birdie, so I uh, wish me luck. Let's see if we can get Ashley making a birdie. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, definitely gave it a run. I don't know if I'm going to be able to be that aggressive on that because I might be a uh, triple bogey for back there. The on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt. Deep, deep within. Uh, all right. We're going to need to make a birdie on the last one. All right, hole number nine, we need a birdie 340 yards. I am going with a six iron to keep it short of the creek that runs right through it, and hopefully we can throw a dart. We've thrown a couple of darts with the uh, pitching wedge so far, so hopefully we can throw one more. That's gonna be interesting. They yelled four in my last week, and then they hit the gas right in my back, so we got this one, but. Luckily you're not in the water. Luckily I'm not in the water. All right, not the uh, best of lives right here, but we do have my trusty pitching wedge. We're gonna need to chip it in. We're gonna need to chip it in. <laughs> All right, I thought that was gonna turn over more with the uh, side hill lie, but we left it out here to the right, and uh, we need to chip this in. I have never made a birdie putt on this hole before, so maybe I just need to chip it in. Oh man, it just got caught up right there. Yeah. All right, well, no treat for us today. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did like this hopefully video. Hopefully this video was a treat. Hopefully this video was a treat in and of itself. The Tacomo Irons, the 101 Tees. I gotta say for the money, it's a very good deal, but you're gonna probably have to buy yourselves a bunch of wedges because the pitching wedge goes like 165 and my gap wedge goes like 115. So that's like a, what is that? 50 yard That's a uh, big gap. gap. That's a big gap. But uh, hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did like, button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. If you're looking for pure distance, yeah, for that long, price point. Yeah, long drive competition with your irons, <laughs> you're good to go. But uh, hopefully this video was good to go for you. Ashley, you did hit some bombs though. We didn't get them on camera because we were running around really uh, fast. Yeah, although but, I prefer to be the cameraman, especially when we're testing because you're, you're the better tester. I don't know if I'm a better tester, but uh, hopefully you guys did find this video not testing the test oh there you oh, go yeah yours was better but hopefully you guys did like this video you like and subscribe and we'll see, we'll see you, you next time. time we're gonna have a bunch more uh, golf stuff coming up uh, soon because it's not in florida and we're not dying of uh, heat so it's hot but not as hot not as hot as you Stop. <laughs>